Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. So the AI toolkit has been updated to version 1.6 and we have a few new features for the toolkit. As you can see, we now have a ladder system in which the AI can climb up or down through a ladder. They can now reach whatever height. So as you can see, we have this ladder actor that you can use. So we have these two snap offsets. Uh, they tell the AI uh, where to snap when climbing the ladder. So it goes from either top to bottom or bottom to top. And they basically just guide the AI uh, when climbing the ladder. As you can see, if I move it like that, that means the AI is going to climb up until that way past the end of the ladder. Now we, what you have here is the smart links and these are the actual things that um, let the AI climb the ladder. If you press P, we can see that we have this green arrow right here. This indicates uh, where the ladder is connected to, which nav mesh areas the ladder connects. So if we, if the end, it's going to move the top arrow. And if you move this one, it's going to move the bottom arrow. So basically the AI is going to uh, go through the end and then to the top. Uh, generally you would want it to be close enough, closer to the ladder. And now we have this smart link is relevant. Um, you should always make sure that this is actually enabled. If you drag a ladder right here, we can see that we have these extra actors. Now we don't really need this simple link right here. So you just delete that. Now the reason that those are actually, those are there is because a lot of the, the components that we're using here aren't, are not exposed to blueprints. So if you drag smart link comp, we have this, set navigation relevancy but the problem is this cannot be called in the blueprint so that's why we still need to manually check the smart link is relevant um, on the actor itself yeah so that's why we need to check this because we can't check it within the blueprint now we have a new stealth game example if I walk right here, the AI sees me within 1,000 units when I'm when the player is standing. Now, if we approach the AI while crouched, it will only see us uh, with a distance of 400, as you can see here. Now, you will notice these grass areas right here. These hide us from the AI. Uh, similar to games like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so now the AI doesn't see us, but if we walk out, it sees us again. Now if we walk into the grass again, but this time we crouch, can't see it. Can't see us even if we're just super near to it because we're still hiding within the grass. Now, this stealth example showcases when the AI actually loses sight of the player. So now we can see they lost sight because of the walls. Now they're trying to investigate the last seen location for the player. Now this grass is just a blueprint called BP Hiding Place. <laughs> Basically it just changes the tag of whichever player enters it. We also now have a zombie example map, uh, which enables the AIs to attack while, while walking, while moving. As you can see here, we have an attack melee behavior tree service. This is the one responsible for the attacks while moving. Finally, we have the aim offsets for ranged AIs. So now the AIs 
actually face the target based on where they are. So either up, down, left, right. You can set which behavior uses the behavior aim offsets inside the VP and PC base. So for example, if you choose attack melee or seek, it will face whichever target it has for that state. So for example, if it's in the seek state, uh, it, will f it will face whichever object it's seeking. We also now have the projectile spread, which affects the spread of the bullets. That's it for this update. I hope you find this useful and let me know what you think. Cheers.